happy Friday the 13th. Um, happy Friday in general. Happy day after the full moon. Hopefully everyone got a well kind of rested sleep last night. Um, so here we are, lesson two of what I've learned in 2019. Now, I mean, this is a bit more of like a belief and a value that you kind of integrate into your daily perspective. Um, but it's something that, uh, I, I kind of knew probably I had this epiphany. I talk about it sometimes in one of my writing pieces, uh, about when I was 11 and I, uh, felt very alone in the world. And I just had this sense of like not being alone and that I chose all of it. And it was like an offering from my guides of uh, clarity to understand that if I look around my life, all the characters that show up, everyone who plays a role, all these experiences, if I know that I chose them, then I knew on some level that I was going to be able to work through them and that they were here to help me. And so this lesson is something that, I mean, I, I understood when I was 11 um, and it's integrated differently um, depends on kind of where I was at with my growing and my learning and my understanding of self. Does not mean that there hasn't been times over the years where I have um, kind of really sat in the depths of anger or grief or process around, you know, the end of relationships, the end of um, myself, parts of myself where I thought I was um, living in truth. Uh, but let's put that aside and let's get into it. <laughs> so everything is here to help us. Now, if you're watching this or if you follow me, chances are you are on a spiritual journey. I mean, everybody is. It just depends on how much or how aware they are of that. Now, I'm a big advocate and always have been in terms of spirituality. In the UN Conventions of the Right of the Child, it is written, not just religion or culture, but spirituality is a part um, of a child and, and how it needs to be fostered. Now, we don't necessarily um, live within systems that really foster and honor that. But spirituality looks different for everyone. And it's that higher level of um, thinking in terms of who you are, your purpose, why you're here. Um, what do you have to offer? What do you feel? What do you align with? And so I think that this idea, this concept that everything is always showing up to help us, to help us grow, to help us evolve, um, is a part of that framework. It's a part of that higher level thinking in terms of being a spiritual being. And it's something that can really serve you um, because of a lot of reasons. So I wrote some stuff down. Um, okay, the first one is around... When I say everything is here to help us, um, it means that experiences, you know, feelings, emotions, loss, uh, pain, trauma, the death of people, the death of self, um, just everything in our day-to-day -day life is always shows up to help us in some way. And so um, that's kind of going back to the idea that like, you know, we went up to the buffet table before we came here and said, I'm going to have a little bit of this in my life. I'm going to have a little bit of this. I'm going to, you know, you're going to create in contracts. You're a character that's going to come in at this age and you're going to destroy my life. And you're going to teach me about self-worth and empowerment. And you're going to do this for me and you, and, and you're going to show me this and I'm going to offer this to you. We create this entire life. And then we obviously have amnesia when we get here and we forget it all. And then all of a sudden these experiences start happening and these characters start happening and life happens and we're so quick to come from this like angry place like how dare that happen to me or why did this happen um, and we can get really locked into a victim stance it's like everything is happening to me it's happening at me um, and we and I think we're all guilty of getting into that victim place at some point in our life like the world is happening to me the world doesn't like me people don't like me I just I can't catch a break that kind of mentality now it's not true we created it all the whole point of coming here this beautiful big globe of ours little earth um, is just to evolve it's just school it's just to grow we've come and gone many 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 times um, over the course of eternity um and so basically the whole point again i will say this a million times is we are born we forget and then the whole job is just kind of remember and we get back into self i'm like oh yeah i created this 
and created every detail of it. Um, we as humans have free will, so of course we can navigate things in a different way. Um, but we created that, so when we align with our truth, everything just starts to fit and we start making choices and we can look at experiences through that lens of, wow, this is here to help me. Um, and it kind of alleviates that, again, that victim kind of, oh my God, life is happening to me. There is such value in everything. Um, and it really, I really started to, I think this year, really embrace that. So when things didn't go my way, when, my way, um, when certain things were falling out of my life, it, all I can do is show up for myself and say, all right, this is presenting. Whether it's these strong emotions, this place of feeling stuck, which is just an illusion because um, everything's temporary and we're always in a constant state of ebb and flow. Um, but when something shows up, I can look at it um, and again, going back to the other video, be curious about why it's here and what does it have to help? What does it have? Um, what is it going to show me? How can I grow from this? Um, I think the other big piece here that really kind of integrated into who I am this year is there are only two things that are certain in this world. Renewal, birth, rebirth, the new, and death, loss, erosion. It's just a constant cycle. It's all life is. But again, humans don't like being uncomfortable. And sometimes when we're getting from that new stage, whether it's a new relationship or a new phase in life or a new age or a new whatever, um, a new kind of way of being, and then eventually we head into the erosion phase where there is some death, whether it's a way of thinking, a way of being in the world, an actual relationship itself, uh, just something. And it can show up in lots of ugly ways. Um, but when we're here, it's always going to go swing back to, to new, but we don't like this part because it's unknown, because it's not familiar, it's not comfortable, it doesn't feel safe because we want to control. Um, but instead, just kind of going with the flow as best as we can um, and know that it's here for a reason. And the pendulum will always swing back to that renewal and, and things will always go back. We're never actually stuck. It's just that illusion piece. Um, and again, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, so again, going over, we chose everything. Everything is here to help us. Everything that shows up on our path every single day is here to help us. And sometimes they're little micro lessons. Sometimes they're big lessons. Um, and the thing is, if we don't actually, or we're not paying attention and listening and looking and watching and being aware of what is coming into our energy field, what is coming into our space, into our home, into our life, into our career and all that, we're not paying really like close attention to how things are showing up and how we're feeling about it and reacting to it. They're just going to keep coming. They're just going to keep coming back. And again, and again, Again and again um, and that can be really irritating um, so uh, my kind of action plan to you is to look into your life in this moment right now looking back I'm 32 so looking back my 32 years of life is there anything that haven't worked out no Everything has always found a way to work itself out. There's nothing I regret looking back at my life. Um, it brought me to this place. And so where do you look back at your life and think of more of like a victim? I can't believe that happened to me. That was so horrible. Um, and again, this is a higher way of thinking. And I mean, I look back at things and there's some pretty uh, terrible things, but in my life, but I've really come to really honor them and appreciate them. And they were here to help me because they wouldn't have made me who I am. My, the death of my dad and my stepmom was a huge one. Um, uh, that was supposed to happen. We've had many conversations about that. I can't move forward in my life being angry that that happened. I can feel as a human, the grief around that, that loss. I can, I can feel into those experiences because I did kind of not get them in this life in terms of, you know, that long relationship, um, with your parents. Uh, but there's nothing I, I don't hold anything, but it didn't happen to me. It was divinely perfect and it changed who I was and it helped me get to who I am. So I encourage you to look in your life. One, where do you feel like you're the victim? Where do you look at and be like, that happened to me and I'm angry and I'm feeling, I encourage you to sit with that, revisit that experience that you may be holding on to. Because we hold on experiences for a long time. They eventually get stuck in our org field and they eventually get stuck in our body. And sometimes they can manifest as 
disease, illness, and all that kind of stuff. So it's really important. What are you holding on to? What is something that you believe life happened to you? What is something that you can really gift yourself by sitting down and kind of listening to it and revisiting that and say, okay, you know, what were the lessons in that? If I believe I chose that from a higher, like I believe that my higher self, that my soul chose to explore this and to have this happen. Um, and it was like a contract of some sort with this other person, if it involves someone else, how did it help me? And am I missing key elements into the assist that that represents and, and how like it assists me? Um, so definitely checking in, where do you feel like the victim in your life? And then more importantly, moving forward, how can you create that as a framework into your everyday life? How can you move about in the world believing um, and knowing, okay, this is here to help me. What is it? Am I going to use it as something to help me move forward or am I going to allow it to kind of bring me back? Um, and that's not something that that's again, when our soul kind of comes forward, the human in us gets frustrated and irritated and all that. Don't disregard that. If something's coming into your world or something is shifting or, you know, you think you're buying a house um, is a good example. Um, and you think everything's going to go through and you're really attached to this outcome and then all of a sudden it doesn't go through of course as you're human you're going to have a, a pity party for yourself for a moment um, you're going to be like wow that was sad I was really attached to this idea of what this would look like and the timeline it would happen and, and crap like it's been like completely pulled out under me have that moment of, of, of grieving that your expectations your attachment to outcome but don't stay in it pick yourself up and say, all right, it was not meant to be, or it would have happened. You know, there's everything has value in experiences and things that don't happen just as much as the things that do happen. So really just saying, okay, it wasn't meant for me moving forward, but we get so locked and stuck in those places in our life. Um, and again, it's kind of going back to the sense of immediacy that I need this to happen, the attachment to outcome, um, the expectation that our human has when our higher self is laughing being like, mm, it's not something you chose for yourself. It's not going to happen. You can try and will all you want, um, but just wait and be patient and see what unfolds. So anyways, I would love to hear, uh, pop in the comments of places in your life where you've definitely held on to, or you can think back to moments where you definitely thought you were the victim, um, and that life was happening at you and to you and poor you again, a lot of compassion for that. We've all been there. Um, but how are you able to move through it? How are you able to get above it? I'm like a like an eagle looking down how are you able to see it and then again um how can you integrate what can you say to yourself how can you integrate into your everyday life moving forward okay whatever it is it's here to help me what do i have to hear what do i have to listen to and it's all inside you're the wisdom you are the everything you just have to pause long enough go somewhere quiet long enough nature lying in bed or whatever have a bath okay why did this happen today? What is it here to show me? What's coming up for me? You know, everything's just an opportunity for you to grow and love yourself. So is it a huge trigger that happened today? And that's just taking down my life right now. Okay, it's here for a reason. I can be angry at it or I can accept it um, and get to know it a little bit better. It really makes the process of living day to day a bit easier. Anyways, I promise that I these videos would be like five minutes. I think we're at 13 minutes. Um, so I will stop here and I will see you tomorrow with lesson number three. That's a really good one too.